Greetings, salutations, respect and love. I am Scott and you are in the Prague Corner. Today we're talking about two albums that turned 50 years old today. July 13th, 1973 saw the release of Jethro Tull's sixth album, A Passion Play. Um, also released on the same day, Queen's debut album. This is just insane. Uh, what a coincidence, but we're going to talk first about a passion play. Um, their sixth album came hot on the heels of Thick as a Brick, which came out in 1972. This had one song cut across two sides and it hit number one in the U.S. So here we go. Uh, a passion play did the same thing, man, as one song. It hit number one in the U.S. Man, I miss the 70s. Uh, it's just insane, but... I was such a huge fan of this one that uh, when this one came out, I was actually disappointed. And a big reason why was the hair that lost its spectacles. Jeffrey Hammond's narrated part. It was actually cut across uh, both sides. It ended side one and it began side two. So it was kind of the thing that you remembered the most about the album. And that was a little bit unfortunate because I really didn't like it. But over the years, I've learned to absolutely adore the little spoken word. You know, poetry section kind of makes me think of, you know, Prokofiev's Peter and the Wolf. I actually really like all the soprano sax in here. I like the storyline. Irani Pilgrim dies and goes through all kinds of trials and tribulations in the afterlife. It's a really cool record. Uh, originally, they decamped to uh, the honky chateau, Chateau Orville in France, where Elton John had done some work. And a lot of people recorded at that place, actually. It was a pretty busy studio, but it was rat infested with bed bugs, and it was just nasty. Uh, I guess they recorded a whole bunch of material, which is been subsequently re-released in an archival fashion. Two of the songs from those sessions ended up on War Child, and then they just abandoned the whole thing. They went to Morgan Studios, and they recorded this. Now, Morgan, in 1973, man, was just a place to be. Yes, recorded Tales from Topographic Oceans. Obviously, Black Sabbath was there for Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Green Slade was recording there. Camel recorded there. Alice Cooper recorded there. Lou Reed recorded there. Just incredible how many people were re using Morgan at the time. What a hot spot. But uh, this album is fantastic. I love it. It's, you know, part of my Prague trilogy. The Holy Trinity of Jethro Tull, Aqualung, Thick as Break and a passion play, and I absolutely adore it. It's just amazing. Um, this came out the same day, man. How is that even possible? Uh, the debut album from Queen. I love it. Such a cool little record. Keep yourself alive. Uh, doing all right. The great King Rat. Yeah, are they Prague? You know, we can argue about that till you know the cows come home. I contend that the first four Queen albums are Prague, but you know, I know they're not capital P Prague, so it's all good. Anyway, um, I had a really rough last couple of days. All weekend I was feeling a little bit wrong, and then Monday, Tuesday, just something, something was dead wrong with me. I'm feeling way better today, so I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you to all of you that uh, expressed your uh, wishes and you know your prayers and your thoughts for my well-being and uh, you know my physical health. I appreciate. It. I am feeling better, but I am a big baby. You guys know how it is. You you know how I am. Remember when I lost my phone and uh, I was at war with Apple and I cried like a baby for two months about it? It's the same thing, man. You know, I just get on here and gripe. My wife doesn't want to listen to me complain, you know. So I got to complain to somebody and, hey, guess what? You're the lucky ones that get it. Anyway, um, next week... I am going to be doing my favorite albums of all time. How come I haven't done this already? You know, I've been ranking stuff left and right, but I've never once said these are my favorite albums. So I'm going to do uh, my top 10 favorite albums. And then I'm going to follow that up with my top 10 favorite non-prog albums. So it's going to be a good time. 
also in the mix. Uh, Going to be reviewing the brand new album from The Samurai of Prague, uh, The Man in the Iron Mask. Really, really strong album. I Am the Manic Whale has a new album out. Bumper Book of Mysterious Stories or whatever. That's really good. Um, and then I swear I haven't forgotten. I am going to do my American uh, prog metal episode because I had to leave so many great bands off of my Ameriprog episode that I'm going to do that. Uh, so my slate is full. You know how it goes. Never a dull moment. No rest for the weary. But again, thank you so much for, you know, all the nice, kind words that were uh, sent my way. Uh, it was a rough day yesterday. Clearly, I was a little scared. Uh, you know, I don't like health issues, uh, particularly being an uninsured idiot. Uh, you know, I'm just rolling the dice here every single time I wake up. It's like, okay, am I going to make it till the end of the day or not? But I can't leave you guys, man. I can't leave you like that. What would you do without me? You need the prog corner and I need you guys. But anyway, I just wanted to celebrate two great, great albums. Uh, enjoying their 50th anniversary today. The debut album from Queen outstanding album and uh the sixth album from jethro tall just incredible an absolute masterpiece anyway i love you guys have a great day don't take any wooden nickels i'm out peace